Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today it's gonna be a hot one. Um, it's supposed to be like 90 or something today, last day of summer. Um, so today I'm gonna be getting ready for the uh, tractor show thing. Um, so right now I'm headed to pick up one of my tractors so I can bring it back home and get it ready. Um, Cause I'm probably gonna take three tractors and then I need to get my truck and trailer ready as well. And then I'm also watching an auction today. So hopefully I can get some stuff bought. And uh, yeah, so I'll pick you guys up when I get over there and uh, get this tractor loaded. Made it to pick up uh, one of my tractors. Um, should I take you guys on a tour of what I got? I'm just kidding. I'll save that for another video. But I'm gonna walk back and uh, get my tractor and get it loaded. So I'll set you guys on a tripod and go get it. So here it is, it's a Alice Chalmers uh, D15 Series 2 with factory power steering and factory three point. Um, the guy I bought it off of removed the fenders because they were rusty and uh, I haven't found a perfect set to throw on this tractor. Um, I did buy a front weight bracket and put some front weights on it um, but other than that I really ain't used it much I did use it uh, this spring on the um, oh the hay tether and it did a freaking good job with that thing um, the power steering on this tractor is sweet um, and it's, it's a really nice straight tractor the guy that I bought it off of was starting to repair some dents, like he did that. There must have been a dent there. He um, straightened it out and touched it up, and then he primered the hood here. Never got around to painting it. But the grill is nice and straight. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna take this tractor to the show with me, and then uh, probably my D17 diesel, and then. Uh, my D10, which you guys really ain't seen that tractor or this tractor on the channel. Um, there's been a couple sneak peek clips of them, but that's about it. Um, so, yeah, that's probably, uh, this tractor ain't gonna do no more work um, the rest of this year, just because it's the end of the year. There ain't much left to do since we're done with hay now. Um, but I plan on doing a tour of all the tractors I have here soon. I'm not sure when. I'm just hoping to have them all at the same place at the right time. Um, just because it's kind of hard when they're at two different places. So I'm going to get this chain down and uh, hit the road back for home. And then I'll pick you guys back up. Made it home. Got the D15 unloaded. And it looks real good with the uh 17 um got slab weights on both the front and what did i tell you guys tire would go flat if i put weights on there and it's flat um the other one ain't flat yet but it's probably gonna go flat soon um but yeah so there's them two and i'm probably gonna try to find some pie weights for the 17 Maybe for the 15 too. I have the 15 on Marketplace though, for sale. I really don't want to sell it. Um, because it came from the same place that my D10 that I have restored came from. And uh, they've been in the guy's family forever. So um, 
I don't know. They're just too good attractors to get rid of. So I probably won't be able to sell it. Um, probably just find some fenders for it and keep it for my collection. Um, but now I need to move my 6.0 and then back my trailer back in its hole. Um, and then I need to clean these wheels up on my 6.0 and put them on the 6.7 uh, just for the tractor show. I'm going to put them on there for it um, and then take hopefully my 15, my 17, and my 10. Hoping I can fit them all on there. Um, I'm gonna hook an implement up to the 17 as well. So, hoping to fit all three on the trailer, but you get the wheels off the 6.0, get them cleaned, and uh, onto my 6.7, and then clean it real good. And then I need to clean up my trailer as well, and then all three tractors. And then get them loaded up for Saturday, and we should be ready to go. Um, so I'll pick you guys up, or throw you guys on the tripod and uh, get my 6.0 uh, moved, get the wheels off of it, throw the stocks on, and then uh, unhook my trailer, pull it up, and swap tires on it. So set you guys on the tripod and get to work. So on the time lapse I got my truck washed and the uh, wheels changed and I thought the tractor show thing was on Saturday but it's actually today which is Monday um, so I got the truck I went through the car wash this time and got the truck clean again um, except for the hay that was in my bed um, blew all over everything so I need to rinse that off um, and then I pulled my trailer over here with the skid loader and I'm gonna power wash the rims out um, and then some of the deck and whatnot and then hook it up um, to my truck and set the tail down and then I need to go in the garage and move some stuff and get my D10 out and load it up first um, so while I do all that I guess I'm gonna throw you guys on the tripod and um, get that done. I should, my mic should be here today. Um, it's been windy like every day. So they should be in today. They were pretty pricey little things, but I'm hoping they cut out wind noise and all the other background noise that you guys don't wanna hear. Um, so hopefully I get those before I leave. I'm probably not gonna film any of the sh uh, show or whatever just because it's at a nursing home um and it's just like a antique tractor club is really all that's allowed to go even though i'm not in the antique tractor club i'm gonna go anyways um but yeah i'll set you guys on the tripod and uh get my trailer washed and hooked up Got the D10 loaded. You guys ain't really seen this tractor on the channel, um, but I bought it the way it looks. Um, I bought it not running. The guy had just got done restoring it, but I hadn't got it completely put back together. Um, so I bought it not running. And then 
let it sit in the garage for like a year and then i finally finally got it going and buttoned up um so it's completely restored has all brand new tires on it factory three point um it's a cute little tractor i really don't have any use for it um i'd like to find like a alice basket rake or a uh rototiller and put on it um but other than that i really have no use for it but figured i'd load this one up and take it to the show um and then my d17 diesel and then my d15 um, i'm gonna put my d17 diesel on next and then my d15 on the tail of my trailer but before i load my d17 up i have this snap coupler drill here um that i'm gonna put on it because uh before it before i did the motor swap on it it was on it um i got this in a trade um and they're pretty hard to come by uh the inside of this one looks brand new and i have all the parts for it but i need to go get the skid loader and then hook this up um and then get my d17 loaded on there and then load up my d15 so i'll throw you guys back on the tripod and uh get this stuff done got her all on there had to uh rearrange a couple times um just because the d15 was hanging off the rear more than i liked um but i got it and everything else chained down um, the d10 ain't chained down as well as i'd like it to be um but i'm only going like 15 minutes up the road so i'll just take it easy and uh, nothing should happen um hopefully but yeah this is all ready to go now i have about an hour till i need to be there so i'm gonna run inside take a shower and then hit the road all loaded up ready to go i got a quick shower in so i ain't looking too rough since i'm headed into town um but i guess probably gonna end the video off here i uh, did just get my uh mic just came in the mail so hopefully i'll figure that out here while i'm in town and uh, hopefully get that ready to go for the next video um but i guess if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to hit that like button for me and uh, i guess stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching